lusts and desires, they walk with young people. The Prophet وسلم, says, Allah is amazed at a young person who doesn't have inclinations towards their desires. You know, when you have a young person who grows up on the straight and narrow, they never made any mistakes, they never made any stupid lapses of judgment, they didn't bend off of the straight path for a day or a night, while everybody else was fulfilling their desires, this young person was worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Well, that's a rare instance. And it's so rare in fact, it's so special that we know that that is one of the people who is in the shade of the throne of Allah on the day when there is no shade except for the shade of Allah. Except for the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That young person who grew up worshipping Allah. The default with regards to young people is that they make mistakes. The default with regards to young people is that they have inclinations towards their desires. And so, one of the very interesting and very scary facts with regards to our young people growing up is that before, when you were young and you look back at your own life and you think of all of the mistakes you made as a young person, you think of all of your mistakes that you made in high school and college, and those mistakes exist in the memories of the people who happened to be present at that time. And as you guys separated in life, those memories got to be buried a little bit. But now young people, when they grow up, their memories are recorded. Their memories are taken pictures of. Their mistakes are shared online to be seen by thousands and thousands and thousands. And you're making the mistakes that young people of any of every generation made. The difference is they're all online. And so how do you protect people from that? And as a parent, how do you be concerned about that? I once had a man who came to me in the masjid and he said, can you please speak to my son? He's 13 years old. He started talking to girls. And so can you, uh, he's starting to text girls. So can you please just talk to him? And I said to him, well, what kind of phone does he have? He said he has an iPhone. Taban, of course he's got an iPhone. So I said to him, you gave a 13 year old an iPhone and you're asking me to save him somehow when you've given him every tool to make every mistake possible. Right? It's like you slaughter a person and then say, come resuscitate him. Please give him CPR. Protecting your children. Ali ibn Abi Talib has an incredibly profound statement. He says, raise your children for their generation. Because they have been created to inherit a world other than yours. I.e., if you try to raise your children the exact same way that you were raised, then you're going to fail. Because all of the other circumstances, all of the other environment is different. In fact, you will have two people who live in the same town. And they will be from two different generations. And they will be as different as night and day. And so if that's the case with regards to two people who grew up in the same town, then what do you think about the case of many people who are raising their children in a different city, in a different country, in a different environment, completely different school curriculum, different everything. And they're trying to raise them in the same exact way that they were raised. How can the output be the same when all of the inputs are different? Raise your children recognizing that they are going to be a generation that is completely online. So what challenges face you in that sense? This generation, when they talk to you about their best friend, this is my best friend, this is my best friend, recognize that when they're talking about their best friend, they may have never actually met them in their life. They are talking to you about a best friend that they met online seven years ago and they talk every single day and they share pictures every single day and they have no idea, they've never met them before because they live in another city somewhere else in the world. Right? The world has changed so drastically, so much and that is part of the challenge. When I say protecting your children, as much as you can from a shubuhat. There are a lot of, you know, really alarming statistics out there that parents should know. 50% of children by the age of seven years old in the United States have seen their first pornographic image. 35% of teenagers by the age of 14 have either sent or received pictures of themselves nude in some fashion. And many times parents, when they hear these types of things, they assume, well, not my kids. And that might very well be the case. That might very well be the case that it's not your kids. It may very well be the case that your, your children are angels. But even if your children are angels, that is not the indication of a good parent. Why? Because a good parent doesn't say, not my kids. Ya'qub is on his deathbed and he has a son who's a prophet. And yet he's still concerned. What are you going to worship after me? Some of the Mufassirin said all of his children became prophets. And even then, he's still saying, what are you going to worship after me? Why? Because that is the constant vigilance of a parent.
wa Ismail wa Ishaq ilahan wahida wa nahnu lahu muslimun With regards to you know the internet I remember when there used to be a, a commercial back in the day and it used to say it's 10 p.m. do you know where your children are It's 10 p.m. Do you know where your children are? And some of you may remember this commercial. Every single night it would come at 10 p.m. And the concept was very, very clear that was being communicated. That is that if you are a good parent, by 10 o'clock, by the time the night has come, you should know where all of your children are. They should be at home. They should be safe. But the challenge of us now is that your children do not actually have to be outside to be outside. Through the internet, the world can be at their fingertips while they're sitting upstairs in their room. And they can be talking to anybody and they can be doing anything. And so being cautious of that and trying as your best as possible to protect your children. And this isn't because we don't trust our children, but we don't trust shaitan. 